Well, good afternoon, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of Trap Lines and Inlines. I uh, got a pretty exciting episode lined up here for you today. Uh, show you what I'm working on here now. Uh, first of all, it's been raining like crazy. Uh, haven't been able to. Uh, I wouldn't have been able to get up here yesterday, so I let it dry out a little bit this morning, and then uh, came up while I could. I with all this lumber on, I just barely got her down the hill without sliding her into the cabbage. Uh, today we're putting up these adjustable foundations blocks. Uh, these are kind of the cat's ass. Uh, how they work is you got your, your standard deck block here, which you can run uh, vertical two by fours or run a four by four post right up the center. And then I have this adjustable bracket with kind of a cross brace on the bottom. Uh, and you sit her in there. And from there you can adjust how high that goes with that nut, eh? So you got a lot of range there. And uh, I got 10 of them. The blocks themselves are $9, and uh, and, uh, and the brackets are $20. Jesus, kind of got railed like a sled on that one, but they were too damn, uh, uh, they're too damn convenient for me to pass up. Uh, I'm gonna put them, I have 10 of them. I'm gonna start off in the most dire, most important areas, like these braces, specifically the center one, because the whole main beam's gonna sit right down, put all that pressure there and I'll put them right underneath all the support posts. I'm gonna need a couple on this middle skid in the deck and I'll, I'll definitely need at least two uh, here to fill in this gap here. So uh, I'm excited to get going on those. I won't waste too much more of your time here and we'll get uh, get started on putting those up. But I wanna show you something here. Uh, everyone's always so intrigued about how many bears I got. We are in the absolute heart of bear country. And uh, since it's rained last night, We've had a pretty big bear run through here. Uh, a bit of illusion, my beer count's quite a bit higher, but that's a pretty darn big bear. Let me tell you, I speak from experience. I uh, trotted down, not a monster, but uh, definitely a, an above average bear, eh? Uh, and he was all around here. He's sniffing around the cabin, uh, everywhere, all throughout here. There's trucks everywhere. And uh, he's close by, there's no doubt. And he's curious and he'll be back. So when he does come back, you gotta be ready. You always need a gun. You do not have time to fuck around. You always gotta know, always gotta have a gun. You always gotta know where it is. You always gotta know how many bullets are in it. And you gotta be confident with that gun. You gotta know every time you shoot exactly where that bullet's gonna go. I'm not one that uh, likes to shoot these great big oversized uh calibers you know like i am i find it much more important to have an accurate and reliable rifle <coughs> this is my 260 remington i only shoot 140 grains a lot of people think this is underkill but i've shot it so many times every time i shoot it i know exactly where that bullet's going it lets me pinpoint my shots for vitals or head shots or um the head to I've been in some close calls. You had to make headshots, eh? and that's why you need an accurate rifle. Uh, you're 350, 400 grain, two, even 200 grain bullets. They're not worth a fucking dime when you miss. Let me tell you, is, is she shoots extremely flat too, flat and quick, so I can shoot uh, long distance. The only disadvantage is uh, it's not as convenient for shooting through the bush. Uh, but like I said, I'm on bear alert. I always am every time I'm up here. And when you're 20 clicks from uh, connection to the outside world, you do not have time to fuck around. Uh, you got to be prepared to take an animal's life if it's necessary. It kind of sucks that way. Do feel bad about it occasionally, but it's the way it goes. Okay, so I've got my first two blocks in. They go up real quick and easy. Um, I make sure they're... Before I put them in, uh, I took some dirt out with the shovel because this is sloped on a downhill pretty good. And I want them sitting pretty darn flat. You know, they don't have to be perfect, but it's good to have even weight distribution for sure so it doesn't push things out any, eh? Uh, so I started and I put this first one in and then uh, I uh, leveled up the next one uh, on the far side and now I'll work and build this one. But I'll show you here. Uh, Right now, as they lay across, she's perfectly level. I don't know how that's picking up in the camp. Perfectly level. And pretty good here. It's hard to see in this cam. Pretty good here. The longer the level, uh, too, it gives you more, uh, more general, more average consensus on how things are looking. Uh, I quick, just check the cabin quick. It looks good. Uh, it stayed pretty darn good. 
but I think maybe the front needs to come up just a tad and like I said this center skid needs to come up a tad so uh, we'll work at putting uh, this this uh, center one in and I'll show you all the steps along the way so I start out by just taking some of the ground out and cleaning it up there now there's only you can piss around with the level I'm not that picky so I started out by taking some ground out there with a the shovel, um, trying to level things up a bit because like I said, it's pretty pretty steep right here off the front. And uh, I just kind of eyeball it. Like you can see on this one, it's sagging down and I uh, need to take a little more out there. Eh? So uh, I'll take some ground off the right in the back and uh, try it again. And I want to have that run right vertical right in line with the support post because all that weight this one is the most important because all that weight of the main beam and all the rafters and the everything is coming right down on the center and I want it to line up and get nice even uh, weight distribution right onto the cylinder block uh, so try and spend a little more time getting this one leveled up show you from there Okay, that there is looking pretty good. You can see it's nice and in line with uh, the support post. Uh, you want to make sure you can tap this up as high as it'll go. So that way, all the weight is sitting on the bottom of that bracket as opposed to your dinky little screws that you put through there because that, uh, that won't hold shit for very long. <laughs> okay, so now from here, uh, because this is level, we do not have to move it in, and you really shouldn't ever have to, well, this one's cross-threaded a bit, but, not cross-threaded, rather, thread down, anyway. But um, you should never have to actually torque down on this. Uh, there's no, you don't need to, no sense compromising anything. But as you get that hand tight, and it's gonna sit exactly where it is. Uh, if you torque on it, you're gonna lift it up and push the block down, but uh, you really shouldn't have to if you need more if you need more room lift her up with a jack This one here is perfect. So just get her hand tight. No sense torquing on her Now we'll screw her through on both sides or uh, drill it uh, The other one's hard to film and then we'll put a screw through there call her good and uh, These are the same three inch screws that I use for all my framing That one definitely, uh, it was going against uh, the screw I put in on the other side. Okay, that looks good. We got the front done. Uh, it's all pretty darn good. Uh, it's inevitable. This ground is soft as shit. It's gonna sag and uh, move around a bit, but uh, with these adjustable foundations, it'll take all but five minutes to readjust if need be. Uh, now I'm gonna have to lift up this center one there's essentially no weight on the center one at all i'm not concerned about it any uh but i'll probably put uh one right here close to that um where i join the two together and uh one over here so it stays relatively even so it doesn't look too ridiculous but uh two should be more than plenty and then it's uh no problem that a couple of rocks there uh i'd like to use as little of these as i can I'm gonna save them for over there, but I'd like to get this level off and uh, it'd be nice if I could re fucking return some of them. 30 bucks for one of them with because that bracket so much, eh? So anyway, stick around. I'll keep you posted real deadly. Okay, so I realized here, I was playing around with the level here, realized my back right corner of the cabin, it kind of almost appeared so when I was looking at it before. I've lifted it up with the jack now but um i've lifted it up with the jack now but it was down a fair fair bit eh? i must not have leveled it off properly when i did my rough level there it sagged pretty good here but i lifted it up with the jack and now i've lifted the back so the front will have to come up a bit which is fine and that'll likely solve my problem and uh bring that bring these front boards up a bit in the back and then they should be pretty damn level too, eh? Uh, a little bit of a problem though. Uh, you see it's real nice and level here, here, and then it kind of drops off, eh? But in order to get my 
foundation block with my adjustable support on there, I need a minimum of 10 inches. You see, I'm not there. 10 inches to the bottom. So, uh, I'm likely going to dig this out because I really want foundation block here and along this side. Uh, problem is, though, because I have not gave myself an overhang on the 4x4 on the skid part, I have to be right under here where it's flat, not where I've angled. Cut it off, so uh, I'll dig it out and put it right about here. It'll be perfect. Okay, things are shaping up here nicely, fellas. <laughs> you know, like before I started on these blocks, it's kind of like... I'd look at it and I'd be like, okay, do I got some crooked ass walls or my eyes fucking with me? You know, it just wasn't quite right, eh? But now things just look deadly good, eh? Uh, I'll show you what I did here on this other side. But yeah, see, things just look mint right now. For the first time, those front deck boards are level. <laughs> For honest to God, the first time. Yeah. Um... This side is just perfect. Uh, I added another block right here. Uh, I didn't add one here because if you look under it, like the majority of this board, except for just a slight bit at the end is right on solid ground. Eh? But this one, it's lifted up for three feet or so. So I added a block here and I did have to dig a bit, but this one was fine with a rock. And then I added one, I oh, I already showed you that I added this one here. So now all this back is good. It's sturdy too, how it stands, eh? Then I added a rock here. This isn't a very good rock for the job. And then, yeah, so things are looking damn good here, fellas. Uh, three isn't a whole bunch for the front. Uh, I'm not sure. I'm pretty damn cheap. You probably should add another one or two, but those are, those are four by fours that it's sitting on, hey? And with these doubled up two by fours laying on top of another row of two by fours, there's not much there to bend, hey? It's pretty damn sturdy. But like, this is a mess. This side is a mess right now. Uh, the other side, like this side, the walls on this side, they're sitting on those rocks right now. I'm gonna add more, but it's pretty damn good. It's not quite perfect, but it's pretty damn good. And uh, if I pissed around with every little quarter of a millimeter here, I'd be here all day. So can't get too caught up in it. Well, remember what I said there about that fixing my boards by lifting it up there? Well, sure shit. I know it's not entirely perfect, but I tell you what, it's good enough for me anyway, boys. <laughs> okay, so uh, I guess about, I got quite a few rocks laying around here I drug out before, uh, but I should add another one here another another board here i'm gonna add two up the center over or two kind of towards the middle a bit on the center board and then i'll probably only add one more here on this one and then uh call her good because all the rest of this i can just level with rocks like that's my biggest gap otherwise eh and the reason i'm not concerned about like i'm gonna have one here and then I won't have one till all the way over here. And the reason I'm not concerned about that, all it's gonna be is deck. And still balancing on a four by four. And I don't weigh enough to crush the four by four down the gap like that. So I'm not concerned at all. And like I said, these, these, these blocks are awesome because you can change it at any time. With this small of a cabin, it takes four seconds to jack up the cabin and add another one or uh, if you wanna, move it around a bit, eh? So I, I'm not concerned at all about, uh, it's not permanent at all, eh? So it kind of gives you peace of mind that way. But uh, I'll add one here, one there, and uh, get back to you here. Okay, I've been pissing around here. <laughs> anyway, I added this block and that one, and all this shit, and the cabin is good and level. Uh, I added some rocks along the way, you can see there and uh, everything. Um, all of the cabin and the overhang loft is quite satisfactory for me at this point. Uh, 
Uh, it's kind of funny the mixture of rocks and foundation blocks there, but like it's all real sturdy and pretty damn good. But this, I'll add some more rocks for sure. But this deck, man, I regret it every day nearly. Eh? Should have just cut her off here, man. So what's going on here with this deck? You say, oh well, fuck. Um, the board's like for whatever reason this one it wants to bend up eh so it's uh lifting the whole works up and uh you know it's been a bit of a prick to get level I had to dig that out i'm done for the day i'll figure that stupid deck out another day but uh yeah that's the video on these uh on these uh, adjustable foundation blocks. Uh, I got lots good to say about them so far, but it's one of those things time will tell for sure. I'll hold on, I have two left, I used up eight. But um, I have two left and I'll piss around with them, hold on to them, if I need them I'll use them, if not I'll return them, 60 bucks. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna start a fire and have my dinner and uh, I guess you're welcome to join me if you wanna see some redneck chef in here, fuck. Yeah, so I picked up this mint cast iron cooking set there from P Auto there for 60 bucks. She was on sale, that's Canadian. So like uh, 45 cents US. So uh, I'm gonna try it out on my old rusty fire pit there. I forgot the grate though, eh? So, uh, I was just gonna frab some beans here. That's all I got to eh? so we'll frab some beans, put it in the little skillet there, just get them warm. So that fucking thing will burn me if I hold on to it too long. Well, I'm just burning some <laughs> of that useless scrap I had laying around, eh? Miserable. But, um, <laughs> it's a pretty puny little fire right now going anyway, but I just need these here <laughs> heated up. <laughs> Probably gonna burn myself here pretty quick, but the old deer hide's protecting me pretty good for the time being. I'm really craving some fresh pike right now, but I forgot my fishing rod. Otherwise, I'd just ginch down the hill and go catch some pike real quick, but I forgot her at home anyway, so have to remember that for next time. Man, am I craving some pike? I was really just craving uh, campfire cooked food in general, but. Just get them heated up a bit, you know, no one wants to eat cold beans. <laughs> I went grocery shopping for the first time in my fucking life yesterday. And by that I mean uh, canned beans, Ichiban noodles, and craft dinner, buddy. That's all you need, man. <laughs> it's going to be that way for a while until I have more money in refrigeration, but oh, I can deal with it. Oh. 260s always on bear duty too. You never know what could come out of the bush. Custom grate here. You just gotta make sure uh, you get your food cooked before the fucking two by four burns up. <laughs> well, fucking cannon beads, man. <laughs> Dinner of champs, anyway. Uh, but that's it and all for today's episode, guys. I hope you found everything either entertaining or helpful there. Uh, with the whole adjustable foundation blocks, I think I'm really gonna like them. Uh, we'll see how she goes. Uh, next episode we'll be putting up the roof. I just wanted to make sure everything was nice and level before we got that roof up perfect there. And, uh, gotta get that roof done, shingled and whatnot so I can insulate the floor and, um, start worrying about everything else. Just get it out of the road, eh? Cause that's what I'm looking forward to the least. Um. Uh, uh, never been much fa a big fan of roofing. The shingling's fine, but uh, but that cutting the rafters and whatnot's kind of a pain in the ass to me anyway. But uh, thanks for watching, guys, and uh, for following along in my build series here. Uh, it'll keep going. Everything that's everything that I do to this cabin will be on YouTube. So see you next time.